how long does it take a soda to go flat? I mean, that really, the, the biggest problem, you know, with certain sodas in particular, I'm talking about Sprite, and in some cases like grape soda, kind of like that, that crush that's in there, grape soda, orange soda in some cases, you know, you, you drink a soda and you leave it halfway finished and you come back an hour later and it's flat and it's like, there is no excuse for soda to be going flat that quickly. That, that is definitely something that is, you know, just a tisk tisk thing that that sort of thing happens. And I don't know. I mean, I get I, a lot, you know, I didn't mention this, but I got a lot of Sprites from McDonald's this past summer. And the whole thing there was, you know, obviously my, my family likes to get the large because it's just cheaper. You know, the, the price between a small which is what I wanted, and the large is not that much, so they say just get the large. Well, the whole thing about getting the large is, you know, I don't drink it all, and then what winds up happening is it goes flat. And, and you know, you could say, oh, well, it's because of the ice, but is it really? I mean, I've had, I bought cans of Sprite, and the same thing happens. I bought bottles, you remember... Some of you folks remember those videos from back in July and August where I brought up Sprite. Well, you know, when I didn't finish those bottles of Sprite, basically one day later, they taste like candy water. And I was, I mean, the whole disappointment with that was, was just, I mean, I, I love Coke. I, I love the original Coke to death because I can leave that in there for more than you know, if I go to sleep at 10 o'clock at night and wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning, it's not flat. And that's the whole difference is, I also like that about vanilla Coke, because I would leave cans of that in there and then they would be fine. This is something that needs to be fixed. I don't know, I think, I think the reason why they do it is because they're trying to get you to drink it all. I think that's really the thing. I've always been this type of person, though. Oh yeah, I just tried to watch Sausage Party, and I, you know, I was not able to pay attention to that. But that just came out this past summer, and the whole the whole situation there was. Well, I'm losing the point. I'm trying to tie into this, but yeah, I mean, just paying attention and trying to watch the whole way through, and. That's just not something I do very commonly anymore. But, you know, not being able to drink a, a large Sprite, you know, that it, it's costly just because, you know, it goes flat so quickly. So that, that's pretty much the greatest weakness to Sprite is just the fact that you're on a timer when you drink it with ice or without ice. Coke, this is not so much of an issue. Dr. Pepper, it kind of is. That's kind of in the middle between Coke and Sprite. Mountain Dew is another one. The original Mountain Dew goes flat pretty quickly, but I don't think Pitch Black does. I mean, I think both of these last about as long as Dr. Pepper does. But Orange Soda goes flat pretty quickly. Virtually, I mean, I don't even know if Pepsi does. Root Beer doesn't last very long. Pepsi doesn't last terribly long. So basically this is Coca-Cola that does it. That and vanilla Coke. And yeah, I mean as a whole. But the but but then the Jones sodas I get, you know, when I when I screw those lids back on, those last pretty long. So it, it's just kind of disappointing that that sort of thing kind of happens. But I mean, I can drink a whole can of soda. I mean, it doesn't take long. I just hate doing it because, you know, it, it does fatten you up. That's the thing is, you know, all the calories and the sugar inside of a soda, you know, what you really want to do is just drink some and then come back 30 minutes later and drink some more. So, I don't know. I just, I, there's, I hate, I kind of hate 
when things bind you to a time restriction, when it's like, well, if you don't do it now, you're not going to be able to do it later. And that, you know, it's kind of disappointing when that happens because, you know, you have to wind up throwing it away because it's like, you know, I just, I just feel like things need to be in smaller quantities. I think that that would wind up helping because it's just trying to get you fatter. That's right. Now, I mean, this is kind of turning into like a rant video, but I mean... I just appreciate those, you know, you've probably seen them, the cans that come about this size. Those are the best types just because it's like, hey, you know, if you make a sandwich, you can just have one of those and that's just enough to fill you up. They come in a six pack and that's really all you need. The 12 milliliters ones, I mean, that's more of a, a swallow. I mean, definitely if you're thirsty, it's good, but... I just feel like, you know, too many cases we're trying to get people to belly up too much. I don't know what it is about that. I mean, that's just something that happens much too frequently.